Hi, Alvin DeLeon here, and you are watching episode 70 of the three minute health tip. And in this episode, I'm going to talk about the first phase of healing or post conflictolysis A. Now, in the previous two videos, we really started to break down exactly what's happening as we run these biological programs. We talked about these biological programs being initiated by an unexpected conflict or an unexpected event, a conflict shock that affects us at the level of the psyche, the brain, and the organ. And then we talked about once we have that shock, how we enter the conflict active phase where we get preoccupied, we talk about the changes that are happening at the organ level and the brain level during the conflict active phase. And then in the last video, we talked about conflictolysis or the conflict resolution. And it's that conflict resolution that leads us to today's video, which is the healing phase, specifically phase A of healing or the first part of the healing phase. And in this healing phase, this is where uh, fatigue starts to set in. You know, the, the conflict activity and the lack of sleep in the conflict active phase starts to take its toll on us. But just like anything that's healing, usually it's initiated because at the psyche level, we start to relax. We're emotionally relaxed about the conflict because that conflict is now resolved. That issue has been dealt with. And now, just like anything in the body that goes into healing, fluid or edema will go to the area that's healing. So the fluid or edema will go to the part of the brain that had that initial impact. And so on the brain CT scan, what was a sharp concentric ring in the conflict active phase will now look a little bit more blurred in phase A of healing, which will indicate that they're actually in the healing phase. This is also where you start to get symptoms such as headaches or dizziness or lightheadedness, depending on what area of the brain has that impact. And of, of course, depending on the size of that impact, which is directly proportionate to the magnitude of the shock for that person subjectively. Now, not only is the psyche going into healing and the brain changes are gonna indicate that there's healing, but the organ changes and the body are also gonna indicate healing changes. So if there was extra cells that were needed or that formed during the conflict active phase, those extra cells will now be eliminated from the body, which will lead to a discharge or pain or inflammation. And if there was an ulceration or uh, changes of a widening during the conflict active phase, that ulceration and those changes will now be repaired and replenished during the healing phase. Again, causing the symptoms that we tend to experience. And so it's important to remember that in phase A of healing, there's a lot of fluid and swelling and inflammation and often pain associated with this phase. And this is also where we start to get fatigue. A significant level of fatigue starts to kick in. There could also be a warming up of the body during the phase A of healing because the blood vessels that were constricted during the conflict active phase now start to widen. So we get warm hands, warm feet, we might have a fever, we might have a headache, and we feel very tired and lethargic during the phase A of healing. Now this is important because understanding that you're in phase A of healing is very uh, imperative in allowing you not to panic when you get these symptoms. When you start to get pain, a little bit of inflammation, maybe a little bit of discharge, uh, this is when you don't panic because you recognize that I must have resolved something that was a stress for the last couple of days or a couple of weeks. And so understanding that you're in phase A of healing, putting ice packs on the head to help alleviate some of the swelling, particularly in the brain area, can help give you some relief during this phase. But it's also important just to really acknowledge that you need to rest during phase A of healing. Taking the time to sleep and recover and regenerate is very important in trying to help you complete this phase. So I hope that that health tip allows you to, number one, recognize whether you're in the healing phase or not, and also to allow yourself to rest with the ice pack on the head so that you can be more comfortable during this phase of the biological program. I wanna thank you, as always, for tuning in, and I'll see you at the next episode.